So there's a pretty serious issue happening right now with the Royal High Dolls and honestly it is so gross that I sort of want to remind people not to be behaving in this way because honestly it is so embarrassing and just horrible that it is actually happening and that people decide to do something like this. But anyway guys, let's get on with the video. Hey guys, I hope everyone is doing okay and yes, I know that recently I've been making quite a lot of videos in regards of these Royal High Dolls. However you guys, there's just so many things that you can talk about and sometimes they are not too positive. Like for example, this video and so I do apologize for making quite some negative videos however we are expected to be getting more updates soon and I will be making a video talking about that topic as well so don't worry however this is an issue that I really want to address and share with you guys because when I first heard that people are doing this I was honestly so embarrassed and so cringed out so that being said guys I really quickly want to give credit to I think it's hello Kiara I am so sorry if I'm not pronouncing your name correctly however they have covered this topic a few days ago however However, basically what has been happening is that people have been purchasing these Royal High dolls and when they got home and they wanted to redeem the code, the code just wasn't working. And for those that don't know, you can only redeem these codes once. So once someone has scratched the code off and used it on Royal High, you cannot use it again. So it's just one code per person. And so Kiora did actually include a Twitter post where someone has basically experienced this and oh my gosh, it is so horrible. However, the person did end up deleting their post. I tried going into the Twitter to find the post as well. However, it is not there. If I remember correctly, the person did say that they took it down because their friend didn't want them to post on Twitter anymore or something along those lines. I'm not too sure. And so just to respect the individual, I am not going to be including any screenshots of what they have shared on Twitter, nor am I going to be utilizing any screenshots from Kiara's video. However, it is not rocket science. You can sort of imagine how a sticker with a code would look like if it was scratched off. Now, being fully transparent with you guys, I I sort of expected this to happen at some point because the vast majority of the Rohai player base do want to get the doll just to get the set, not the actual doll they want to get set. However, with obviously Jasper being accused of supporting some bad things, people don't want to be spending their money to support Jasper, and so they're kind of resolving to stealing these codes, which honestly is so gross. However, at first I was a little bit skeptical on how people are stealing these codes because the code is apparently inside of the actual box. So they must be really hampering with these boxes instead of like the stores and so I tried going to my local retailers and trying to find the dolls just so I can figure out how the code sort of sits inside of the box. I didn't want to purchase the dolls because personally I just don't see the point of me buying these dolls. However, sadly the store that I was at did not have the dolls so I could not see in real life how the codes sit inside of the box and so I just had to resolve to using Google to see how the codes sit like. However, I will say that they sort of seem to be very deep in there so I'm a little bit surprised that people somehow managed to scratch out the codes and get access to them. They must have really been tapering the dolls inside of the stores which oh my gosh just why? Now like I said I kind of want to remind you guys not to be doing this if there's anyone who's really young here who's being influenced by people on Twitter or any other social media platform and being encouraged to do this let me tell you right here right now not to be doing this. When you tamper with items in store for example scratching out the codes from the Royal High Dolls, you are damaging the store merchandise and obviously that will have consequences. Now after reading some of the different store terms and conditions, the vast majority of the stores will ask you to pay for the damage or they can either ban you from this specific store or even worse, pursue legal action taking into account that you are deliberately causing damage to these items prior to purchasing them and owning them. Now honestly, if you think that you're going to be very sleek with this and manage to get away with it, you guys, every single store has security cameras and therefore if you have tampered with these codes or you were planning on doing so, this store can utilize the footage to identify you very easily. So moral of the story, I don't encourage you to go out your way to tamper with things that you don't own and haven't purchased. It is illegal, it is not right, please don't do this. And secondly, in case any of you guys do know the individual that has purchased these dolls and vocalized that the codes were already utilized, please don't be disseminating hate. It is not very helpful. It negatively impacts people's mental health and if you genuinely if you genuinely care and you want to educate people, please don't go out your way to harass them. If anything, harassing people will only make them very scared and most likely turn away from you and not take into account what you're saying. Instead, please educate them nicely and just be kind to people. Now really quickly guys, I thought we'd just give you guys some advice on what you should possibly do if you experience this because at the very end of the day, you obviously want to resolve this 
is because you did receive a faulty item. So with that being said, guys, prior to opening the box, I would highly recommend that you record yourself actually opening it. I do this all the time whenever I purchase something from eBay or Amazon because then if there is actually an issue with the item, I can just report it to the company and I have solid evidence that there is actually an issue with the item and they cannot really just say like, oh, well, can't really do anything about things because we don't know if it's you that actually tampered with this. So if they can't actually tell you that you are the reason it's ruined because you have evidence that you didn't actually tamper with it. Anyway, guys, let me know down below whether you have experienced maybe yourself or a friend having this exact same issue of the codes being already used when you purchase it all. But besides that, guys, I hope all of you guys are doing okay and are having a lovely weekend so far. But I will see you in my next video.